Hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. How are you today? Hello, Lila. Hello, Emerson, Patty, Amilka. It's good to have hello, you teacher. the participants. Hello, teacher. Hello, everybody. I'm very happy to have you here, okay? So we are going to start today. We are uh, five minutes before eight, but we are going to start start just a couple of minutes in order that people is uh, coming and join us. And I'm going to show you the platform. And uh, Amilcar is here, right? Amilcar, I already reported your problem, okay? So I expect that they co uh, communicate with you. Yes, teacher. Okay, excellent. I already reported, right? So I hope that uh, they can see the report and that they can communicate with you in order to see what is the uh, issue in the platform, okay? So I'm going to share, let me see. Okay, excellent. So for today, we are going to start with the 4.0 lesson objective that says, in this class, you will learn clothes vocabulary, particularly clothes which uh, you wear for work and leisure. Okay, in this case, I want to uh, I want you to uh, to pay attention to the word clothes. Clothes is like a like a theta, right? At the end, clothes. Clothes. It's a little bit difficult to pronounce because uh, you have um, T H E S, uh, but it's not clothes. It's not clothes. It's clothes. Clothes. Right. It's not close, eh, like cerca, ¿verdad? No, no es con S. It's close, close. Una feta al final, okay? Um, so, um, later, the other word that I, uh, that I would like that you can pay attention is leisure. Leisure es como tiempo libre o tiempo de ocio, ¿verdad? When you're free from, from work. Cuando usted está digamos, libre de trabajo en un ambiente más relajado. That's, that's why. Okay, so uh, in the platform, you have a video that talks precisely about clothes, right? Clothes vocabulary, and you can watch several times in order to learn how to classify clothes for leisure and clothes for uh, work. Okay, so let me go. And in the next part, we are going to cover until the section 4.2 that says, in this class, you will learn the colors and how this topic is used in real life settings, okay? So you already know that colors are also adjectives. So today we are going to uh, use colors in order to elaborate some uh, sentences and information. And then you have colors and... And in a conversation, the conversation says, it's a disaster, but with the exclamation, right? It's a disaster. Como es un desastre, ¿verdad? Así con símbolo de interrogar, de, de exclamación, exclamation. It's a disaster. Okay. So, um, the issue here is that one lady was washing the clothes and, the, uh, and it was blue. And the other lady was washing his, um, I mean, her blouse, and it was white. So they mixed up in the machine, and later uh, the blouse becomes uh, like blue instead of white. So that's why it's a disaster, right? Um, so that's the conversation about. So let me advance. And for today, um, I think that this, this is going to be enough. For tomorrow, we are going to talk about possessives, right? If we cannot cover this topic, this is going to be tomorrow. Possessives, and then um, by Thursday, we are going to finish this section, right? Remember that by, by Thursday, you need to have complete all the, all the knowledge check, or by Friday, the most during the weekend, have complete all the knowledge checks for the section number four. So I'm going to stop sharing and I will go now to the presentation that I have for you tonight, okay? So uh, since you have vocabulary in the 
in the in the video i'm just uh, will show you quickly some extra vocabulary that i brought for you in my presentation we have women's okay um remember that woman is singular mujer y cuando yo digo women I'm talking about more than one. Estoy hablando de más de una, ¿verdad? Entonces estoy diciendo mujeres. Remember that this is a irregular plural. Tenemos acá un plural irregular, ¿verdad? Entonces decimos women's y este apóstrofe, luego vamos a aprender que es un posesivo para decir la ropa de las mujeres. Women's clothing. En este caso es clothing. Ok, suit. A suit is a blazer. So let me show, suit. yes, suit, no sweet, porque si me dice sweet, es dulce, ¿verdad? Es a suit. A suit is a blazer plus a skirt. V-neck t-shirt, v-neck, camiseta de cuello en B. V-neck t-shirt, button down shirt, camisa de botones hacia abajo, ¿verdad? Button down. Blows, right? Blows. Blows. Shorts. Shirt. Uh, jacket. Cargo pants. Because they have some bags here. Short sleeve baseball t shirt. Uh, pants. Tank top. Evening gown. Ruffle skirt. Short sleeve uh, shirt. Sleeves. Manga corta, ¿verdad? Short sleeve uh, shirt. Shirt. Jeans or shorts, or jeans shorts, right? Uh, baseball t-shirt, polo shirt, jeans, sweatpants, no sweet, porque sweet es dulce, sweat, sweatpants, como los pants para sudar, ¿verdad? Shorts, running shoes, t-shirt, hiking boots, pumps or heels, okay? Pants or trousers. Uh, crop jeans, hoodie jacket, bikini, bathing suit, like, like the other one, is suit, cam shirt. Okay, this is for women's. Now let's talk about men's clothing. Remember that only one is man, and men is plural. It means hombres, more than one. And the letter S with the apostrophe means Possessive, so men's clothing, yes. la ropa de los hombres, okay? Sweater, shirt, jeans, gloves, cap, suit, Hawaiian shirt, singlet, business shoes, flip-flops, shorts, cardigan, jacket, sports shoes, bow tie, sleeves, sleeveless shirt, vest, long sleeve top, polo shirt, Jumper, trench coat, bathrobe, cargo pants, swimsuit, uh, blazer, swimsuit, blazer. Okay, and we have some accessories like boots, mittens, right? The difference is because they don't have like the, like the fingers, only one finger, right? And that's the difference between the mittens and the gloves. Hat, swimsuit. Socks, dress, skirt, gloves, jacket, shoes, t-shirt, shorts, trousers, jeans, jumper, cap, glasses, pajamas, scarf. Okay, excellent. So today we are going to, to talk about two specific verbs in order to talk about clothes, which are wearing and put on, okay? You say, for example, I can say, today I'm wearing, so let me show you. Okay, today I'm wearing my uh, black and white uh, blouse. I'm wearing my glasses and I'm wearing my headphones, okay? And I'm wearing a, 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 my pants and I'm wearing a pair of black shoes, okay? So I'm describing what I'm wearing today. Wearing is... Eh, llevar puesto. Eh, otro sinónimo sería usar. But I want you to make sure that you don't confuse wear with use. En, en inglés es diferente. Cuando yo digo llevar puesto sobre mi cuerpo, 
yo digo where, no digo use, porque use it's, for example, I'm using this glass to drink water. Ok, that's use. Eso es, es usar, utilizar. I'm using my eh, alcohol eh, to eh, clean my hands. Eso es usar, ¿verdad? Pero llevar puesto is wearing. Ok, today I'm wearing. And wearing is everything that you have on your body. For example, if I have a ring, you can say I'm wearing my ring. Or if, if you're wearing a watch, you say, I'm wearing my watch. I'm wearing my glasses. I'm wearing my headphones. Okay? And if you have like a chain here or maybe some accessories like, a, I don't know, maybe a necklace, you say, I'm wearing. Es decir, todo lo que esté sobre su cuerpo es wearing. I'm, today I'm wearing this and this and that. But the action to Dress yourself is put on, ¿ok? Pero la acción de ponerlo sobre su cuerpo es put on. For example, I will say, I'm, I'm putting on my headphones, ¿ok? I'm putting on my glasses, ¿ok? Put on, ponerme, colocarme, ¿verdad? Encima de mi cuerpo. Pero cuando ya lo tengo puesto es wearing, ¿ok? So today... I am wearing, right? Eh, y si voy a hablar de alguien más, digo, today he or she is wearing. Um, okay, so for example, let's, let's think about this exercise. In the morning, I put on my clothes. I put on my, si es una lady, ¿se acuerdan del vocabulario? Dress. My yes. dress. Okay, very good. When she goes out, She puts, on, she, she puede decir puts on o eh, put on, ¿verdad? Eh, eh, en el inglés se eh, tiende a unir todo de puts on. She puts on. Ok, she puts on her. Cap. Cap, ok, her cap. When he goes to bed, he puts on his. Pijama. Pajama, ok. Pijama. When they go dancing, they put on their. Shoes. 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 Okay, very good. Mom said, put on your before you go outside. Let's imagine that outside this is snowing. Aren't you? Hmm? Uh -huh. What's the word? Gloves. Gloves, right? Your gloves. gloves. Yeah. Let's imagine that you live in a country when there's snowing, like Canada or the US. You definitely you cannot go out without gloves because you freeze your hands. I promise you that. Okay, so now what we are going to do now. So we are going to describe, okay, how, what are we wearing today? For example, I have here a conversation. Hello, how are you today? I'm just fine, thank you. What are you wearing today? And I said, And I say, for example, today I am wearing my short sleeve red blues. Let's imagine, right? Uh, I'm wearing my blue pants, sandals, headphones, earrings, a new watch, and my new brown shoes. Okay? And you, what are you wearing today? Okay? So that's the conversation about. I would like that you can describe to, to your classmates what are you wearing today? Okay? Le vamos a decir a nuestros compañeros qué llevamos puesto este día, ¿ok? So I'm going to send you this conversation and I want you to please say, what are you wearing today, ¿ok? So, uh, do you have questions so far? ¿Tenemos preguntas hasta acá? No? Is everything ok? Everything is okay, teacher. Excellent, excellent. So let me uh, open the, the groups. And please join whenever you receive the invitation. Okay. okay, the groups are open now. You can join, please. Thank you. Thank you for joining. I will, I will go around just to ask any question you may have.
Okay. Hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. Is everything okay here? Okay, excellent. Do you have questions? ¿Cómo se dice pijama? Camisón para mujer. Pijama. Pijama. Pijama igual, pijama. Es que en español suena como una I. En inglés es como un, casi una A. Pajama. Pa, pa, pajama. Ah, ok. okay. Pajama. Pajama. Gracias. Ok, see you. Hello Juan, hello Gerson, hello, do you have problem by joining the group? ¿Tenemos problemas para unirnos al grupo? Hola Gerson, can you hear me? ¿Me puede escuchar Gerson? Yes. Eh, ¿Tiene problemas para unirse al grupo? ¿Perdón? ¿Lo sacó del grupo? Ajá, se, se, se me salió del grupo. Vaya, ahorita voy a a tratar de, de reingresarlo. Permítanme un segundo. Sí. Hello, hello, Ivania. Are you just working alone by yourself? Eh, no, no hay nadie más en el grupo. Okay, do you have questions so far? Tenemos preguntas. Este, me estaba integrando a la a, a, a la clase. No, no vi cuál era la actividad que teníamos que realizar. Okay. Uh, bueno, no tengo grupo. Okay, but you're here in a group, pero aquí está en el grupo, en teoría. Eh, o está solita, vamos a ver. Sí, es que no hay nadie más en el grupo. Sí, es cierto, la voy a reasignar porque hay personas que han tenido problemas para unirse, ¿ok? okay. La actividad básicamente es la que mandamos al, al WhatsApp, al grupo de WhatsApp y consiste en conversar con sus compañeros y darle respuesta a la pregunta What are you wearing today? ¿Qué está llevando puesto ahora? ¿Verdad? And describe what are you wearing y describir lo que lleva puesto. Okay, I'm going to reassign uh, to another group. Okay. Me acabo de me desconecté, no sé qué vamos a hacer. Yo también me acabo de conectar. <laughs> es que se me desconectó. Estamos iguales entonces. No sé qué, qué vamos a hacer. Hola. Hola. Hello. Nos tenemos que decir lo que llevamos puesto. En el grupo han compartido la imagen. Uh, how are you today? I'm fine, thanks to you. Uh, hello, hello. Ya les envié las invitaciones, chicos. Pueden unirse de nuevo. Ok, gracias. Vean, gracias. si tienen dificultad, solo tienen que dar a aceptar. Ok. Ok, excelente.
Hello. Hello, my dear. Hello, teacher. A mí no me sale. No le sale. No. Pero, pero me sale que ya la mandé, fíjense. Vamos a ver. Bueno, hagamos algo. No nos compliquemos porque el tiempo nos va avanzando. Quédense acá ustedes. Hagan el ejercicio ustedes acá y yo voy a ir a los grupos. Van a ver okay. que me les desaparezco porque estoy moviéndome en los diferentes grupos. Porque ya vi que por alguna razón eh, no logran unirse porque les envié en dos ocasiones y los he movido en dos veces de grupo y no, no funciona. Entonces, no. trabajemos acá, ¿verdad? No hay ningún problema. Okay. ok. Yo me voy a mover a los grupos. Ok, perfecto. Y hay otro. Is everything okay here? ¿Todo bien por acá? Mm, sí. Ok. Sí, era de repasar, ¿verdad? La conversación. Uh, yes. You have to create a similar conversation because you have to add what are you wearing today. You have to write your own. You, your own how clothes. do you say earrings? Earrings. Earrings. Yes. earrings. Es como con una I. Earrings. Earrings. Mm. Ajá. Ok. Ok. Y eso es, uh -huh. ¿qué significa? Aretes. Ah, ok. Sí, I'm wearing a pair, puede decir, I'm wearing a pair of earrings today. Sí, estoy utilizando un par de aretes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sí, gracias. Ok, you're welcome. See you. See you. Eh, bueno, si quieren empezar de nuevo. Ya lograron recrear un poco lo que fue puesto. ¿Está todo bien por acá? Eh, Karen Tengo tiene una pregunta. Una consultita. Ok, go ahead. Adelante, Karen. Eh, ¿Cómo se dicen pantuflas? Eh, puede decir flip flops o puede decir flip -flops. sandals. Flops. Uh -huh. Ay, sandals, pues. Ok, it's ok. Yo, 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 otra pregunta. ¿Qué es hell, headphones? Headphones es esto. Ajá, los, los auriculares para escuchar. Ah. Uh -huh. Sí, headphones. headphones. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Do you have an extra question? Tenemos más preguntas. Okay, remember that you have to use uh, to, to describe the way you are you're wearing uh, today, the clothes you're wearing today. Ustedes tienen que tratar de describir cómo andan vestidos o vestidas, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. So you need to look it up for more vocabulary. Entonces habrá que buscar un poquito más eh, otras palabras, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. okay. okay, excellent. Thank you. You're welcome. See you in a minute. Tag. Tag, estamos hablando de... How is it Tag. here? ¿Cómo vamos por acá? Um, practice. Okay. Practicando. Practice. Excellent. Okay. Practice. Are you able to communicate all of you? Pueden comunicarse todos. Hay varios. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, two. Okay. And okay. I'll come back. Los demás no, no. Okay. No. Los, los que puedan, verdad. De repente a veces hay problemas de, de conexión y por eso tal vez están mute. So you can continue practicing. Okay. Hey. Sí. Okay. Uh, I am wearing shorts. Uh, I am wearing flip flops. Okay, excellent. I see you're practicing. Congratulations. Okay. Thank you. Okay, I call you back in a couple of minutes. Okay. Okay. Teacher. <laughs> Hello, is everything okay here? I, I, I have a problem that 
the, the audio, but the, 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 this problem, the red. Okay, the, you can, Ivani. okay, but I know, I, but, but you I, can try, you can try in the chat. Yeah, but I try uh, speak in the practice with, Ivani, with Emerson. Okay, it's okay. If you cannot hear each other, you can use the, the chat in order to type your answer. Okay? Okay. okay. Excellent. Okay. See you in Thank a couple you. of minutes. Okay, see you. Okay. Today I am a Teams. Hello. Ah, Pants. Pardon. Pants? Uh -huh. Pants? Is everything okay? Pants to Pants talk. Pants talk. Eh, sorry, teacher. Hello, tell me. Adelante, adelante. Eh, Perdón, es que yo hace como un, dos minutos acabo de entrar. ¿no? Ok, Andy. Um, let me explain you. Uh, today we are, uh, elaborate, we are working on um, uh, having a practice okay. of saying what are you wearing today, okay? So I sent the WhatsApp group an image uh, like giving like a model of conversation. So what you have to do is to say, what are you wearing today? ¿Cómo está vestido hoy? ¿Qué anda puesto, verdad? Okay. So that's eh. what we are doing. But uh, there's a lot of people here in the main room because some of them have problems to the presentation I sent. Sí, algunos están acá, ¿verdad? En el salón principal tuvieron problemas para asistir a los grupos que yo asigné. Entonces, para avanzar con el tiempo, eh, finalmente se quedó una parte aquí, un grupo pequeño, y los demás están en los pequeños eh, salones. Sí, ok. Ok, Teacher. sí, adelante. Oh, uh, sorry, eh, oh, ah. cuestión con, con referente a la, a la plataforma. Ajá. ¿Hasta qué unidad íbamos a llegar, disculpe? Hasta la 3. Tenía que completar todo, incluyendo el midterm exam. Ok. Sí. Uh, it's to be sent. To be sent, and today we are starting the section 4. Ok. Ah, pues sí. Excellent. Llegué, llegué hasta, la, hasta, hasta el final, donde están unos audios. De hecho, casi la mayoría de todos los ejercicios tienen audio, pero okay. llegué hasta el final. Uh -huh. Ok, okay comple eh, completé hasta la 3. Que, ok, tiene que ser la 3 con el midterm exam. Tiene que asegurarse que haya completado el examen de medio periodo, ¿sí? Revisa y si tiene dudas me escribe. Tiene que haber, tiene que ya tener pase para unidad, para llegar a la unidad 4. Porque yo, yo le hice clic donde dice pro, progress o progreso. Ajá. Y me parece completado. Todo. Ok, si, no gusta, si... si gusta después me manda una imagen, ¿verdad? Para ver hacia dónde, hasta dónde ha llegado y, hace, y vea si ya le permite, si tiene todos los chequecitos en verde para poder pasar a la unidad 4. Tiene que tener todos los chequecitos okay. en verde. Uh -huh. Ok, hasta sí. Ok, ok, Thank you. Okay, ok. Welcome everybody, welcome back. We are here in order to have our practice. Uh, sorry for the teams, uh, de verdad que lo siento por los compañeros que no lograron unirse a los grupos. Uh, we, are doing, we are going to do our best in order to perform the conversation, so you don't worry if you cannot do it perfectly. Okay, so uh, who would like to start? ¿A quién le gustaría compartir? Eh, ¿Cómo estuvo su práctica? And if you can say, what are you wearing today? Me. Okay, please, adelante. Uh, the... Who was your, your partner? ¿Quién fue su compañero o compañera? Alejandro. Okay, Alejandra, would you like to perform this conversation with my friend Solorzano? Okay, are you there, Alejandra? Creo que sí está ahí, Alejandra. Vamos a ver si nos escucha. Ahí está, okay. Ustedes deciden quién comienza. Eh, who, who, Alejandra. Okay. Hello, how are you Hello. today? Uh, uh, I am you fine, thank you. What are you wearing today? Uh, uh, mm -hmm. I am I am wearing 
and the the shirt and mm -hmm. shirt. Mm -hmm. Solo estas tres podía. Okay, it's okay. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. eh, solo veamos algo para todos. Es t-shirt. Me hacen una t-shirt. Ajá, una t, t explosiva al final. T-shirt. T-shirt. Ajá, y es T como la letra T y porque tiene la forma de una T, ¿verdad? Es una camiseta. Uh -huh. Entonces, o una playera. Sí. Entonces, en inglés ah. es una T-shirt. Con ese sí. mismo explosivo del T que comenzamos, con ese mismo T termina. T-shirt. Ok. Ok, y luego eh, shorts. Shorts. Aquí, shorts. con esa palabrita shorts, eh, vamos a hacerle como que estamos diciendo silencio. Shorts. Porque si usted me lo hace más fuerte y me dice, ch, ch, eh, como en salvadoreño nosotros decimos chores, ¿verdad? Pero en realidad le voy a decir que en inglés los chores son oficios. Ajá. Ah. Ajá. For example, what are the chores your mom asks you to do today? ¿Cuáles son las asignaciones, las tareas o los oficios que tu mamá te pidió que hicieras ahora? And you can say, oh, to sweep the floor, to cook. Uh, to wash the dishes, ¿verdad? Todas esas son eh, tareas, ¿verdad? O u, u oficios que nos dejaron hacer. Entonces, ese, ese es el tor con che bien marcada que nosotros decimos en español, ¿verdad? Pero lo correcto es shorts. Shorts. Short. Con una sh, sh, como que estoy diciendo Short. silencio. Silencio. Shorts. Uh -huh. Short. Ok. okay. Excelente. Perfect. Ok. Alejandra, eh, do you have more or only that? Uh, Mart. Okay. So uh, you were more than one, more than three, right? Ustedes eran varios, verdad? Sí. Okay. Uh, pregúntele usted a alguien más. ¿Quién más estaba en el main room? Porque algunos se quedaron en el main room que no pudieron moverse al, a los salones. Uh, estaba Rita, Edwin. Okay, Rita. Would you like to uh, uh, work with Alejandra? Ok, pero estuve con Briselda y con Dennis. Ah, ok, entonces quizás... Eh, solo dos nos pudimos conectar en el grupo, nosotros, solo Alejandra y, y yo. Ok, ok, ah, Ale, don't worry. Le pregunto It's, a ella. Sí, usted okay. pregúntale a Ale para que ella okay. haga su práctica, ok. Hello, Alejandra, how are you today? I'm used fine, thank you. What are you wearing today? Uh, today, today I am a uh, pant. Wearing, wearing, la palabrita clave, wearing. Wearing pant. Wearing, uh-huh. And, and take top. Tank, top. tank top. Tank top. Tank top. Tank top. Tank top. Uh -huh. okay. and, eh, eh, and glasses. Okay. And mm -hmm. only. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much, team. Okay, now, Rita, uh, would you like to continue? Vamos uh, a ver, okay. Rita. Okay. Uh, con, con quién? Con Briselda. Sí. Con su, con su equipo, digamos, con el que estuvo. Ok. Hello, how, how are you today, Briselda? I'm just fine, thank you. What are you wearing today? Uh, today I'm wearing my pyjamas. It's a white dress and only. Ok, now you ask her. Ahora usted pregúntale a ella, Briseida. ¿O había alguien más en el equipo? Eh, sí, estaba Denny. Ok, eh, vamos a ver, entonces pregúntale usted a Denny, Briseida. Ok. Eh, Denis, can you hear us? ¿Nos puede escuchar, Denis? Yes, teacher. Ok, please, go ahead. Adelante. Ok, and you, Denis, what are you wearing today? I am just fine, thank you. What are you wearing today? Today, 
I am wearing T-shirts. T-shirt. T-shirts. T-shirts. Eh, la, la camiseta. Sí. Entonces, yes. T-shirt. Shirt. T-shirt. Uh -huh. T-shirt. Uh -huh. T-shirt white. White T-shirt. White T-shirt. Excellent. Shorts blue. Blue shorts. Blue shorts. Vamos a poner primero el ah. color. Sí. First the color. Oh. Okay. The color first. And, okay. And what else? Y es, es sneakers. Ok, sneakers. Es sneakers. Sneakers. Yes. Ok. Sneakers. Uh -huh. Very good. And you, and you, what are you wearing today? What are you wearing today, Briseida? Briselda? I am wearing a pijama with uh -huh. a, a white dress. Okay, excellent, very good. Congratulations, team. Excellent. Okay, who else? Uh, who wants to continue? Un equipo más. Vamos a ver, el tiempo nos da para un equipo más. Let's see, let's see. Me. Okay, Me teacher. Please, please go ahead, adelante. Eh, estaba con, I, I, con Isaura. Okay, Francisco and Isaura, please. Isaura? Can you hear us, Isaura? ¿Nos puede escuchar? Sí, sí, sí. Ok, please. Mike is yours. El micrófono es de ustedes. Hello, Isaura. How are you today? Hello, I'm fine. Espérame que estoy abriendo la imagen. Ok, don't worry. Take your time. Tome su tiempo, no se preocupe. Listo. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Isaura. How are you today? I'm just fine. Thank you. We are, we are you wearing today? Today I am wearing my blue glass and I am blue pants only. Okay. Excellent. And now you ask him. Ahora pregúntale usted a él. Uh, what are you wearing today? Today I wearing my short cap. Shorts. Uh -huh, cap, a cap, okay. A sneaker. Sneakers. A sneaker. T-shirt. 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 Uh -huh. T-shirt. T-shirt. And short. And short. Short. Como short. Shirt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. Very good. Good job, teams. Excellent. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you, you for participating. Thank you. And thank you for uh, explaining and sharing what are you wearing today. Okay, so let me uh, just continue uh, with the presentation. And basically, you complete the conversation. You describe uh, uh, what are you wearing today. And now, let me show you here. Uh, I have uh, some vocabulary, some extra vocabulary about uh, clothes. For example, I have here, so let me just show you. Okay, here I have buttons, cotton, extra large, feet, fitting room, jacket, jeans, jewelry, large, material, medium, price, size, small, zipper. So I have here, um, it says, uh, where do you usually go shopping to buy new clothes? Why? And then complete the 15 sentences with the words on the left. So let me uh, ask you, for example, if I ask, how much do these, short, these shoes cost? What is the? Price. Price, okay, very good. What is the price? ¿Cuál es el costo, verdad? Okay. Number two, could you, could I please try on? Vea, eh, quiero que me pongan atención en estas expresiones y en estos eh, verbos, que más que todo por eso traje este ejercicio. Try on this suit. Try on es probármelo. Recuerde que put on 
es cuando la pieza es suya y usted se la va a poner. You're, you're dressing, se está vistiendo, ¿verdad? Every morning, uh, before you go to work, you're putting on your clothes, ¿verdad? Pero cuando usted va a un almacén y usted se lo quiere probar, entonces dice try on. Es como tratar, ¿verdad? Literal, tratar de ponérmelo encima para ver cómo me queda. Try on. Entonces, could I please try on this suit? Where is room. that? Mm -hmm. Where is that? Fitting room. Ok, excelente. Fitting room, vea, fitting room. El, el, fitting room. el cambiador, ¿verdad? O el, el yes. vestidor. Mm -hmm. Ese es el fitting room. Ok, number three. These pants are too... Y luego dice, I need a larger size. Este ¿Sí? pantalón es medium. Small. Small, small, muy small. pequeño. Small. small, because I need a larger size. Necesito una talla más grande. ¿Sí? Ok. Most shirts have small round. Mm -hmm. The ones that I like, that I like here, over here. Most shirts have small and round. Veamos. Um, Medio, no. 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 La mayoría de las camisas tienen, son pequeños y redondos. Cuello. Cuello. Buttons. Buttons, Buttons, botones, Buttons. ¿verdad? Los botones, Buttons. por eso yo les decía, they go like here, van por aquí, ¿verdad? Okay, <laughs> okay. okay. let's see the next. Most, and then space, are blue, but mine are black. Uh -huh. Jacket. Pero vea que está hablando de, dice are, no puede ser la jacket, la jacket es uh -huh. is. I think are jeans. Aha. Jeans. Most jeans are blue, but mine are blacks. Are black. La mayoría de los jeans son azules, pero el mío es negro. Okay. My wife likes to wear earrings and bracelets and rings. She really likes. ¿Qué son esas piezas? Earrings, so bracelets. Jewelry. They are accessories, right? Yeah, that's jewelry. right. But they are jewelry. Son jewelry. accesorios, ciertamente, pero su nombre yes. completo o, o su nombre más específico es jewelry. Jewelry. Joyería, ¿verdad? Okay, mm -hmm. so let me see the next. Teacher, It's, mande, adelante. Excuse me, okay. is, uh, la pronunciación uh, jewelry o jewelry? No, jewelry. 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 Uh -huh. ah, okay, jewelry. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's colder, number eight. It's colder today than it was yesterday. You should wear a when you go outside. Sweater. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yes. But maybe in here it's a jacket. Ja jacket, jacket. That jacket. Yeah, jacket. Sweater yeah. tiene sentido, pero... Eh, el contexto es más para una jacket, ¿verdad? De acuerdo okay. al vocabulario que está acá. Ok. Uh, what size do you wear? Vea otra vez. Wear. ¿Qué talla? Eh, en este caso usas, ¿verdad? Pero no de utilizar, ¿verdad? Sino de usar, de llevar puesto. Wear. Siempre que sea de llevar puesto es wear. Nunca es use. Es wear. What size do you wear? Cuando le vamos a preguntar a alguien su talla, esa es la pregunta. What size do you wear? Small? Medium. Or large? Medium. 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 Uh -huh. Medium. Ok. Medium. Ok, now. Teacher. Adelante. Go ahead. Excuse me. Este, he escuchado que a veces, eh, eh, va, en este caso usted dice mi, medium, pero yo he escuchado que dicen medium, también no sé. Sí, es una variante como lo que hablábamos el otro día, pero en el, si usted oye un British English, they, they, they say even medium. El, en el inglés okay. británico usted va a escuchar me, medium. En el American okay. usted escucha medium, incluso con R, medium. Mi, 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 medium. 
Y está bien. Medium. Okay. Uh -huh. Medium. Uh -huh. Puede ser incluso hasta con R. Medium. medium. Ajá. Pero en el British usted escucha medium o medium. Uh -huh. Ok. Both, uh, both ways are correct. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's clothing is uh, made from many different kinds of like cotton, leather, and wool. Uh -huh. Different materials. 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 Very good. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. The number 11, the on my jacket is broken. What is broken? Zipper. The zipper, okay? The zipper, zipper on zipper. my jacket is broken, okay? Thank you. Number 12, zipper. do your clothes well or are they too large or too small? It's a verb. Es un verbo, ¿verdad? It's the only one verb here in this uh, list. Es el único verbo de esta lista. Fit. Fit. Muy bien. Very good. Vea que cuando tenemos un N, significa noun. When we have here, es adjective o puede ser noun también. Adjective. Eh, el N es noun, ¿verdad? Y aquí tenemos una V de verb, fit, es tallar, ¿verdad? En este caso, tallar. Dice, um, do your clothes uh, fit well or are they too large, or too, too large or too small? ¿Tu ropa te talla bien o es, de más, o es muy grande o es muy pequeña? Ok, I like the color and styles and style, but the... It's too big. I need something larger. It's, I need something larger. The small. Okay. Small. The size. size. I like the color and style, but the size is too big. I need something larger. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. En este caso es como... Me gusta el color y el estilo, pero la talla es demasiado Ay. grande. Necesito algo, aunque no tiene sentido, ¿verdad? porque luego dice que necesita algo más grande. Eh, esa última expresión creo que debió ser, I need something eh, like short or eh, in, Small. or smaller, right? Mm -hmm. eh, my t-shirt is made from? Material. Mm, ya habíamos usado material, entonces nos quedó. These socks don't fit, don't fit, no me tallan o no me quedan, ¿verdad? They are too, I need smaller socks, ¿vea? Ahí sería el extra large. Ajá, ok, they are extra, eh, o podría ser en este caso el large. ¿Verdad? Y, y en el otro caso, el extra large. ¿Verdad? Eh, donde dice, I like the color style, but the extra large is too big. Ajá, hace más sentido. ¿Verdad? Me gustó el color y el estilo, pero el extra largo es demasiado grande. Necesito algo en talla large. Uh -huh. Entonces, aquí nos quedaría, they are too large. I need smaller socks. Ok, very good. You did a great job completing this. So I congratulate you and now let's advance. Vamos a avanzar un poco más. Okay, if you want, you can take a picture. Pueden tomarle una imagen si ustedes quieren. So let me hide myself. Okay, let's continue. So let me, okay, now we go with colors. Okay, we, uh, you see that we have primary colors and secondary colors and tertiary colors. Basically, the primary colors are yellow, blue, and red. The secondary colors are orange, violet, and green. And the tertiary color no, no, te are yellow, uh, yellow orange, which is, which is a mix, red orange, red violet, blue violet, blue green, and yellow green, okay? So you have like a primary, secondary, and tertiary colors. 
okay? So here we have like the very basics that we know. We say black, brown, brown. brown. gray, back and gray. gray. Yeah, see in el American English, um, why? Y también se puede escribir así, ¿verdad? Hay una diferencia en el British y en el American English. Okay. White. White. Yellow. yellow. Este yellow. es una I, Y, yellow. 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 Okay. yellow. Orange. 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 Red. 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 Pink. 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 Purple. 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 Blue. Purple. And green. Blue. Blue. Green. Green. Okay. green. Now here I have more, but they are very sophisticated colors. For example, white, natural, eh, eh, ivory, of white. Eh, eh, cuando ustedes vean en colores LT, estamos hablando de light, eh, como suave, verdad? Light tan. They are like variants of a similar color. Yes. Todas estas son como light variantes white. de un mismo color, verdad? Light How? Not black, black metallic bronze. Black. Cuando vean un BRT es brilliant, brilliant Thank yellow, marigold, amarillo brillante. Uh -huh. brilliant orange, rusty, dusty rose, brown, fuchsia, brown. metallic ash, pink, That's peach, that. hot pink, hot brilliant pink. red, brilliant. crimson, plum, purple, purple, Thank baby blue. blue. Baby blue es como el celestito de bebé, ¿verdad? Brilliant mm -hmm. blue. Cornflower blue. Flower. Royal blue. Eh, light. Este LT dijimos light. que era light. Light navy. Ese TK es dark. Dark. Dark navy. Pura. Lavender. Lavender. Lilac. Mint. Celery. Lime yeah. green. Spring yeah. green. Eh, Jay, Teal, Hunter Green, Hunter Green, China Blue, Pale Yellow, Mad Navy, Most Green, Sage, and Emerald. Okay, now is your time to practice. This is the last practice for tonight. So I would like that you can follow this conversation and you can say, and the conversation is like this. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. How do you dress to go to work? I wear, a, I wear formal clothes like gloves, pants, eh, pants, excuse me, or skirt, blazer and dress. I wear a high heel. Do you wear a uniform? No, I don't wear a uniform. I wear a suit. What color is your uniform? Or your suit, in este caso, ¿verdad? Porque me dijo que no usa uniform, pero usa un suit. Eh, what is it? Y de ahí podemos preguntar otras cosas, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, what is your son's or daughter favorite color? ¿Cuál es el color favorito de su hijo o su hija, verdad? So, uh, if you can take a picture, it's okay. I'm sending it right now to your WhatsApp group. And I would like that you can practice this short conversation and that you can mention your favorite color or the color you wear in your uniform, okay? Por ejemplo, yo digo, eh, I'm, today I'm dressed in black and white. Cuando digo que estoy vestida de un color, digo in, in black and white. Eh, today eh, I'm dressed in black and white. Este día estoy vistiendo en blanco y negro, ¿verdad? Ok, do you have questions so far? ¿Tienes preguntas hasta acá? No, okay, so let me open the, the breakout rooms again and I expect that all of you can join this time. Vamos a ver si se pueden unir esta vez. Teacher, adelante. No me llegó la invitación. El, se la acabo de mandar, Alejandra, ahorita. Ok. Ahí, si tiene problema, me dice y yo con gusto se la reenvío.
Laurita? Do you have a problem joining the group, Laurita? May I help you? ¿Le puedo ayudar? Color, ajá, color blue, pues, por ejemplo. Ajá, y de ahí sería, lo voy a hacer la pregunta. How do you dress to to go to work? How do you dress? How do you dress? ¿Cómo se viste? O también puede decirle, What do you wear to go to work? ¿Qué, qué llevas puesto para ir a trabajar? Si no quiere usar el verbo to dress, el dress ajá. puede decir en lugar de how do you dress, what do you wear? Se puede contestar, I wear formal clothes. Yes, you can say I wear formal clothes and puede describir, ¿verdad? Eh, shirt and pants. The, the chair, pants. Mm -hmm. And formal shoes. Ajá. Uh -huh. okay. okay. How do you say pantalones formales? Eh, formal pants or work pants? Or eh, office pants? Office pants. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, you're you're welcome. You. Okay, see you in a minute. Every color. Uh, is, is color blue. Ajá, si es niño, podría ser. Mm -hmm. Is color is. Hello, hello. Is everything okay here? ¿Todo bien por acá? Hello. Sí, todavía no he terminado, por eso no hemos practicado. Pero ya okay. casi termino. Okay. Uh, about, you are about to finish, right? Casi por terminar, ¿verdad? Sí. Okay, so I'll call you back in a minute. En un minuto nos reunimos. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. To go. Hello. To go. Is everything okay? Hello. <laughs> Hello. Eh, sí. Okay, I'll call you back in a minute. En un minutito le llamo. Okay? Excellent. Okay. okay. Hola. Do you have song? Hola. Ah, ahí está Kenia. Hello. Ella que... Is everything oh. okay? Hello. Are you about to finish? Ya casi te... Oh my God, why? The time is <laughs> short for I us. I know, time is over. So I'll call you back in a minute. Okay. Okay, you okay, still have one more okay. minute. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, I'm going. Oh, okay. Hello, hello, we are coming back from our practice. So we have one minute for people to join us from the practice, from the last speaking practice of tonight. So. Okay, welcome back. Okay, in honor to the time, I would like to ask you if uh, there is a group that would like to share uh, this, the short conversation. Okay, who would like to share? A quien le gustaría compartir? Let me see, people is coming. So maybe, vamos a pedirle esta vez, maybe to Juan Campos and Ana. I think that you couldn't participate last time. Creo que en la ocasión anterior no pudieron participar. Is it possible for you, my dears? ¿Es posible para ustedes hacer la presentación? Ana, Ana y Juan, ¿pueden? No sé si me escuchan. 
Ok, if not... Yes, teacher. Ok, please, go ahead. Adelante, pueden comenzar ahora. Ok. Uh, yeah. What is your uh, favorite color? My favorite color is brown and gray and black. Mm -hmm. uh, who do you dress to do all the work? Um, I wear not formal clothes like t-shirt and jeans and my converse. Do you wear an uniform? No, I don't. I don't wear a, a uniform. Okay. I wear a not formal clothes. Okay. <laughs> what color is your clothes? What color is your clothes? Uh-huh. My no. clothes is no. a brown, gray, black, and blue only. Okay. Okay. And what is your song of together? Daughter. 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 Okay. The song daughter. of the daughter's favorite color. Her favorite color is purple. Cute, excellent, very good team, good job. Thank you for sharing what uh, is your favorite color and how do you uh, dress to go to work? Uh, what do you wear? And your favorite colors, okay? So uh, because of the time we are going to stop here, I appreciate your time and your participation and that you're able to continue speaking because remember that this class is for you to speak the most that I do. Okay, um, I hope to see you tomorrow and I hope that you can advance in the platform as much as you can. Remember that if you have questions, please let me know. You can contact me through the WhatsApp group or directly if you, if you prefer that way, okay? Excellent. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Tisha. See you tomorrow. Take Thank care. You, Be safe. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.